So check this out, man. This is um. So I have permission to read this. I got permission from the author. This happened in Pittsburgh recently, um, and this is um, this is someone who works at um, I, I believe it's a Home Depot or one of those department stores. I don't want to go into too much detail because this is still unfolding, and this is somebody I know personally who has said yes. You can talk about this. Okay. Uh, hey everyone, I've been exposed to COVID. I started, uh, to start, I feel fine. Tonight at work, my store manager pulled me into the office and explained that someone I work in close proximity with has COVID. Obviously, they can't name names, but I can use some basic detective work to deduce it's the other flooring specialist who sits across from me, and we all share the same equipment. Uh, now, this person doesn't wear a mask 90% of the time at work because he finds them uncomfortable. B, they said my most recent exposure would have been about a week and a half ago, and he was on vacation last week. So that's why they're concluding it's this person. Uh, now, this person saying, I'm going to get a test tomorrow. And uh, the roommate and them will not be leaving the house for a bit. Uh, so here's here's the meat of this. When the store manager, when the store manager uh, walked me out, apparently you get walked out like you were fired in this case. I asked if we'd be better enforcing masks in the store. And now basically, they said that they'd be wearing masks in the store. And they were told by management to tread lightly. What? They were like, they were, they were like, I want people to wear masks when they enter our store. And management told them tread lightly. So I, so here we go. When the store manager walked me out, apparently you get walked out like you were fired in this case. I asked if we'd be better enforcing masks at the store. Uh, I mentioned the governor's statement today that we didn't require masks in the store. There's a sign up that there is zero, but there is zero enforcement. So basically, it's like they want people to wear masks, but they don't enforce it. He said, it's not up to us to enforce it. And then the person asked, well, who is it up to? Um, and then they said, well, if a customer isn't wearing a mask, I'm going to tell them I can't help them. And then they were told to tread lightly. That's crazy, man. Why wouldn't they want their staff wearing masks? Uh well, I think I think for staff it's recommended, but he's saying like for customers, like he basically said, if you and I want to tread lightly on the letter because it's like it like it like it's their Facebook thing. I know they have to be careful. I don't want to get them in trouble. Although I have emailed the person and they said you can talk about this, you can read this, and I'm happy to come on the show. So I have full permission to dive into this. Um, but you know, basically they said people are supposed to wear masks in our store, but nobody enforces this. There's a sign, but it's not enforced. There's people without masks in the store all the time. And they said, in the future, I'm going to tell people, if you're not wearing a mask, I can't help you. I'll help you when you have a mask on. Because, like, he works in a department store where people, you know, need help finding what they need and stuff. And uh, management told him, tread lightly. That's insane. What's wrong with every, everyone? Doesn't everyone just get, I don't know, maybe it's just here in L.A. or whatever. But you just, it's just, I got to wear a mask if I go into any store. It's just a foregone conclusion. Like, I don't even. And I guess that's not everywhere. God. I mean, yeah. And, and you see these videos. I mean, you saw that woman flipping out in North Hollywood when they made her leave the Trader Joe's because she didn't have a mask on. And and you see, you know, the, I mean, there was that other thing where they, they, I think it was like a barista canceled somebody's order. I want to say it was at like a sandwich place or a coffee place. They canceled somebody's order and the person called them a racial slur after they canceled the order and that person didn't have a mask on. And, uh, you know, here you have management saying, well, you help these people if they don't have masks because, and, and this is something that my buddy puts in his letter because die for capitalism. Yeah. It's just, we're such an insane, I mean, you and I have talked about this so many times, but it just, it's another example of like, if this wasn't some United Corporations of America, Banana Republic, if everybody was getting taken like they've done in all these countries. They were paying our rent for four months or saying we just didn't have to pay it. Not back pay, but no rent. Like, uh, you know, you're going to have to make eight rent payments this year, mm -hmm. <laughs> 12 or mortgage or whatever, and gave us health care and, you know, two, three grand a month in UBI. No, no, no one would be, we'd all be, there'd be some people like, oh, I don't like this, but everyone would be like, all right, the government's taking care of us. We got to all work together to flatten the curve. And when you have this crushing financial burden on everybody, when you've got 
20 to 30% on employment and small businesses going under every day and whole, whole sectors of a, of an economy getting wiped out. I mean, you and I, the travel, I mean, our road dates are all canceled and the, yeah. look what that does to the travel industry. I mean, you've got Hertz filing for bankruptcy and all this stuff. So if, if everyone was being taken care of financially, like they're doing in so many other countries, the UK, Canada, Australia, many European countries, we wouldn't have this. We wouldn't have people arguing about wearing a mask, but yeah. we money, we need it for money. And it's like all the numbers have spiked because they opened up too soon. It looks like when you look at the graphs and you look at all these other countries that are going way down, it kind of looks like they were just on a roller coaster ride and their roller coaster ended. And it's like, hey, what a fun ride. Whereas we somehow got another loop de loop. We got another, we're going up another hill, which, you know, if this was a roller coaster, well, then we won out. We get the longer ride, but it's not a roller coaster. It's a freaking pandemic and it means cases are going up. And that's absolutely ridiculous. And now when you're just asking the bare minimum ask, can we make sure the customers have masks on? I was just exposed to COVID by a fellow employee who wasn't wearing a mask when, when they, they, they probably should have been, but you know, whatever. I mean, maybe, you know, like whatever the, the employee typically didn't have one on according to this letter, they've tested positive for COVID lightly, likely, because it's likely this employee, they don't know who it was exactly. And they're just saying, should we enforce that the customers have masks on? And they're told to tread lightly. They're told, they're, I mean, that's basically a diplomatic way of saying, fuck off and die for this company. I, I don't know what people, I mean, like, America, this like American individual individuality is like really coming to ki kill us. I mean, it's really just this like the capitalism and the the uh, you know individualism. It's unbelievable. I mean, I, I I'm I'm we said this a month or so ago. We're like they're opening too soon, and and everything's going to spike, and then it's where they're going to have to shut everything down again. I was driving, and I saw. So I study martial arts and I haven't obviously since the beginning of the year. And, and I drove by this Brazilian jiu-jitsu studio, which is a, it's wrestling. It's, and I'm watching, there was a class and there's guys tangled up with each other. No one's got a mask. I'm like, you gotta be nuts. There's no way in this world I'm going to do that. Like, and I, I, I don't, I don't know. Like America's becoming the joke of the world and countries are already going to start banning us. I mean, the state of New York is giving Californians a 14 day quarantine when they come to New York. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I don't know. This is just going to ha We're going to do this open, close, stay at home order open and close. We're going to do this crap for another year. It's just like, it's ridiculous. And, and I mean, and now, I mean, even just here in LA, like the mayor was just like doing nothing. So the governor had to step in because the mayor was just like, oh, am I mayor? I, I don't know. Should I fire anybody? I'm just going to I'm just going to sit here with my 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 butt on my hands and do nothing. So the governor was like, OK, we have to close stuff. You have to close again. Restaurants, you're closing. Bars, you're closing. Yeah. Unreal. It is unreal. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our own. Get your